Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we're back again with another Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery YouTube video. So today I'll be showing you guys how to get more energies when you're low on energies. Without further ado, let's go back to the dormitory first because you can collect energies from your pets and previous items from events and side quests. Of course, there are some items that won't produce energy, but some will so all you gotta do is just tap on them and you will get energies the next thing you can do is by going to the three clubhouses there are several portraits a quidditch gold post in the dragon clubhouse an orrery in the sphinx clubhouse and a kelpie in the other clubhouse you can also tap on the hidden spots, for example, there is a portrait in West Towers. There is a golden snitch in Quidditch Stadium. There is a wolf in Magical Creatures Reserve. There is a portrait <laughs> and peeps in East Towers. There is an unlit torch and knights in Low Flow West. There is a house elf in Dungeons. There is a stick in Castle Grounds, books in Lower Floor East, a kid in Hogsmeade, a spider web in Forbidden Forest, a money bag in Diagon Alley. There is probably a hidden spot in the Black Lake, but I haven't unlocked the Black Lake yet. You can also get energies from magical milestones, however, you have to pay in order to get bonus rewards. Watching ads is also an option, but it's not always available. You can also earn energies from a Quidditch match, dueling, feeding your magical creatures, reaching a certain friendship level, as well as leveling up. There are of course many other ways where you can earn energy such as from the daily planner, stem card, events such as house pride and clean sweeps, just to name a few. But that's it for the video. I hope you really liked this video and I'll see you around next time. Bye!